The cost of Russian tanks destroyed by units of security service of Ukraine exceeds $2 billion. According to the most conservative estimates, the cost of Russian tanks destroyed by units of security service of Ukraine is more than $2 billion. Political scientist, ex-People's Deputy of Ukraine, Alexander Chenenko, writes about this. The expert comments on information about 1,006 tanks that units of security service of Ukraine destroyed during the Great War. I calculated the cost of such losses for the aggressor. The cost of one Russian tank, depending on the model, is from 2 to $3 million for the T-72 to $4.5 million for the new T-90 ProRiv. According to the most conservative estimates, the cost of destroyed enemy tanks is more than $2 billion, reports the former People's Deputy. Chernenko reminds that in addition to tanks, unit of units also destroy their expensive Russian equipment, armored personnel carriers, artillery systems, radar installations, and the like. And recently, the service's drones destroyed the third Russian radar, each of which costs $100 million. I noted that the security service of Ukraine constantly demonstrates footage of the combat work of its units. Each destroyed piece of equipment has confirmation. The political scientist emphasizes, we state that the services units destroyed more enemy tanks than all the allied countries combined gave us tanks. And the Russians are increasingly throwing ATVs or even infantry without armor cover into meat assaults and tanks are becoming less and less common. Their Soviet reserves have been significantly reduced and Russian industry cannot keep up with the rate of losses. And the thousand tanks destroyed by the units of security service of Ukraine played a crucial role here, Chenenko sums up. Let us remind you that earlier it became known that units of security service of Ukraine destroyed 1,006 enemy tanks during the Great War. The largest number of enemy armored vehicles were destroyed during fierce battles in the Donetsk and Kharkov regions. Most of the tanks were hit at the initial lines of the offensive before they went to storm the Ukrainian positions. Some of the tanks were destroyed along with their crews. Ukraine is preparing the ground for F-16 strikes on Crimea. This will mean the end of the war. Experts believe that if Ukraine wins somewhere in the war against Ukraine, it will be in the occupied Crimea. At the beginning of the year, President Volodymyr Zelensky made it clear that the fight for this peninsula and the Black Sea would play a central role in the coming months. As Business News writes, Ukraine's success in Crimea would be a serious blow for Russian ruler Vladimir Putin. Russia's defeat in Crimea would not be just a defeat, but a humiliation, said Olga Kovostunova, a fellow at the Eurasian Programme at the Institute for Foreign Policy Research. Over the past few weeks, the Ukrainian military has launched a series of successful attacks on the region, destroying several Russian air defense batteries and hitting the Belbek airfield near Sevastopol. Elina Beketova, an expert on democracy at the Center for European Policy Analysis, noted that these strikes were successful thanks to careful preparation and systematic work, better capabilities for the defense forces, satellite and aerial reconnaissance provided to Ukraine by NATO allies. Although Ukraine lost its navy during the annexation of Crimea, it is successfully destroying the Russian Black Sea Fleet using naval drones. This allowed the resumption of grain transportation across the Black Sea and forced the Russians to hide their ships away from the peninsula. Maria Znegova, a senior fellow at the Europe, Russia and Eurasia program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, notes that Crimea is key to Russia's Black Sea access and operations. Crimea makes it possible to direct force to the rest of the Black Sea. Accordingly, containing Russian naval positions in Crimea is critically important for Ukraine, the expert explained. Thus, attacks on the peninsula and the enemy fleet are intended to deprive Russian troops of the opportunity to use the peninsula for attacks on mainland Ukraine, as well as to disrupt support for Russian troops in the occupied territories in southern Ukraine. The destruction of the illegally built Crimean bridge could be both a strategic and symbolic victory for Ukraine and a serious blow for Putin. Frederick Mertens, a strategic analyst at the Hague Center for Strategic Studies, believes that by attacking air defenses in Crimea, Ukraine is preparing the ground for future F-16 airstrikes. 
Crimea is vulnerable. The Russians have relatively limited room for maneuver on the peninsula. Putin has a lot to lose, both politically and militarily. So if a limited number of fighters can have a real impact, it is here and over the Black Sea, which becomes fully available after the air defense in Crimea is dismantled. He added, as you know, Russia has relocated its most advanced air defense system, the S-500, to the peninsula to protect the region from aircraft. Russia cannot afford to lose Crimea. This gives Ukraine the opportunity to use Crimea's threatening status as a bargaining chip in future negotiations, Snegova said. At the same time, Beketova is convinced that if Ukraine can regain control of the Black Sea, reclaim the peninsula, and this will mean the end of the war.